This thing looks pretty sweet. This is the ARC backpack from VRS Design. As you may or may not have seen, I took a look at another backpack recently. That thing has been doing very, very well. But VRS Design, who makes a lot of cases that I've tested in the past, apparently has moved into the backpack sphere, and so they offered to send this out for me to take a look at. This backpack retails for right at about $100, which is a significantly different price point than the previous bag I looked at. But again, this thing looks sick. Let's take a look at some of the pockets. So here in the front, there's a reasonably small pocket. I would presume you'd use this for maybe a passport or some really small documents. It goes from here to there, so it's not gonna hold a huge amount of stuff. And the opening is kind of small on the side. And this is one of the things I really kind of liked about it. This can be a water bottle holder if you want it to be, but you've also got pocket here and three little pockets there so you can hold pencils, pens. This is a little larger, so maybe a lens pen, maybe a battery, maybe a pair of Bluetooth headphones, little Bluetooth earbuds, I mean. And what's cool is you've got this pocket, right? You've got another one on this side. Exact same thing, exact same layout. I'm not really sure that a water bottle would fit in here. It might. This is kind of stretchy and you do have a decent amount of room here, but it's gonna be kind of top heavy because it doesn't go terribly deep. I don't generally put water bottles or bottles in general in my bag like that. I know a lot of people do though, but still you've got loads and loads of space to hold things on the sides there. Here in the center, let's open this section up. These two little zippers go down about halfway. I've never seen a backpack where these zippers go down the front and sort of V in like that, but there you go, it opens up. This section is actually all padded. That's very interesting. And just reaching in all the way down, it's padded all the way down to the bottom on this part. Even the sides are padded, wow. But if you can see down in there, there's a little pocket here that goes all the way down on the inside. There are more little pockets here. Get some silica gel in there in case you get hungry. Yeah, just a very big open section in here. It might get a little difficult to fit things in because it does come in very tight like this. But as long as you're putting a bunch of smaller items down in there, you've got loads and loads of space. Moving right on back. This is sort of the most important section for me. You got the laptop compartment. Oh, this is really nice. You've got kind of a, a fur. It is padded on this side. And it almost feels like you've got some padding in between the two sections and then padding right here. So you open this up and it's got this very soft, I don't even know what to call this material. Felt maybe? Yeah, sort of a felt material in there all the way down to the bottom. Little Velcro here, so hold it in place. It says it takes up to a 15.6 inch laptop, so 17 inch guys, sorry about that. And then on the other side, you've got this zipper pocket, large mesh pocket, goes about three quarters of the way down the bag, and just an open section here if you wanted to fit some extra items in there, maybe a notebook, but very nice design there. Then you flip it on around to the back. You can see it's already held in place by this strap. We can open that up. This little section here actually pulls up so you can sort of fit your luggage handle up through there if you wanna put it on your carry-on bag. And then the very last pocket down here at the bottom of the bag in the very back, just your little secret hidden pocket if you wanted to stick your phone, your wallet, any sort of valuables that you wanna keep close to your person. And there you go. And again, as I did mention, you do have this little strap here. You can just pop it all back together, have a little bit of flexibility to it because there is some elastic here. The straps seem to be pretty firmly attached on there. The handle is very thick, very sturdy. I am a big, big fan so far. There's a little bit of info about it. It's his 11 core backpack. It's a laptop backpack, fits a 15.6 inch and it is nylon. And so yeah, this actually might become my new travel backpack. I really love the way that it looks. I love the material. The fact that all of the interior sections are padded and there's a decent amount of space in here for stuff. I'm not gonna say I would use this for my travel camera bag because I have a separate bag where everything is separated out. I like that a lot. Amazon basics bag, make sure to check out that video link down below if I can remember. But I can definitely see myself taking this on a trip because this is just an awesome design. I'll put a link down below to where you can find this on VRS's website as well as Amazon. Thanks so much to VRS for sending this out for me to take a look at. Definitely looking forward to taking this on the next trip that I go on. Leave a thumbs up down below if you like this video, subscribe to receive more, and I will see you again next time.